Morning Sights. So we've got another question. Question from a Magnesite dealing with paranoia. God damn it, if this camera don't stop moving, maybe I do have ghosts in my house. <laughs> my camera keeps moving. <laughs> All right, so, um, this is what he says. He said, I just want to know how I can deal with paranoia. I find it very hard to trust people nowadays because I am viewed as a rich boy and because of my family. It is affecting my dating life, friendly relationships, etc. Please help. And by the way, I'm 17 at college level. Shout out from the Caribbean. One million subscribers. Woo. All right. So, because I've become... Uh, very much so known for reactions. I don't get a lot of questions anymore, but keep sending me questions and more videos I will do for you. Um, well, one thing I used to say in a lot of my other videos for Magnus Answers is, um, you know, when people would have fears, I would tell them about tapping.com. Tapping.com teaches you how to learn the technique of EFT. It's a form of acupressure. It, uh, you have to learn to press certain acupressure points, and they help relieve the stress of certain fear and anxiety. I use it in my life. It is a part of my life till this day. If I'm really pissed about something, or if I'm angry, or if I'm fearful, anxious, whatever it is about a particular situation, I will use it, and it will usually take it away. I may have to do it a couple times to make it go away, but it works. I don't leave home without it, okay? If it were a machine or a device, it would never leave my side. That's how handy this technique is. So go to tapping.com and learn to use that. But another thing is, um, just so you know, as far as this paranoia and trusting people, uh, just because your family may have money, uh, doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that only rich people have to deal with paranoia. Okay, plenty of people deal with paranoia, not trusting people because you're worried about getting taken advantage of because of your money. Maybe girls only want to date you because they know you have money. Maybe guys only want to be your friends because they know you have money. Maybe they'll it'll trickle down to them and so on and so on. But even poor people are taken advantage of all the time. I know poor people that are paranoid. Okay, they always think somebody's trying to get over on them. Somebody's lying to them. Someone's trying to steal something from them. I've never been like that. One thing you have to learn to do is trust your gut feeling. I meet people. And usually there's that, you know, they say it's a little voice in your head. For me, it's a little feeling in the gut. It's a little bit of a twinge. It's something. I can't feel it physically as like a muscle moving but I feel something. It's a sensation. It's something that's not right. It's something different from fear or paranoia. It's something that says something is just not right. Once you learn to trust that gut feeling, you'll never have to worry about it. You re rarely will have to worry about anyone really taking advantage of you. But first, if I were you, um, because you, it sounds like, you, you know, some people's trust issues borders on the on the realm of, uh, par uh, not paranoia, uh, you know, phobias. Like, it's just, they don't, you know, it's just, it's extra, you know. So, if I were you, tapping.com, learn EFT, and there are plenty of EFT videos on YouTube to learn. That's first things first. Then, learn to trust your gut. Don't be afraid to talk to people. Don't be afraid to date girls. The longer your relationships with people... The, the, the better you get to know them, and you will figure out whether they want you for your money or not. Okay? Got it? If you're dating a girl, you can say, Oh, my family just lost all their money. I'm going to be all right, though. I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to get a regular job. You, you, could, you could do shit like that if you're dating a girl and she thinks she, she wants you for your money. You know, see if she sticks around after you, your family, quote unquote, loses their money. You know? You tell your boys that, too. You know? Whoever, you get what I'm saying? Some people like to do that to test people. Go ahead and do that if you want to. But 
whatever it is, you can't run through your life being afraid of, of, of creating relationships with people because you'll become a fucking hermit with nothing to do in your damn life. And you'll waste your time on this earth instead of having a beautiful time living and loving life. You understand? All right. Hope I've answered your question. One million subscribers. Woo!